Welcome to the Design Lab. I'm Bill Linderman with Burton & Burton, and today we're going to uh, create our chandelier with a wire wreath form, LED lights, and aluminum wire. First, we're going to start with an 18-inch wire wreath form that we found either at a local floral supply house or your local craft store. Paint it silver, allow it to dry. Our first step is to take our aluminum wire and cut it into four, four and a half yard lengths. You will need six rolls. Then we're going to fold it in half. What we need to do is get it all bound together or put together and get it flat. And you want all your wires one next to the other. Make sure that we have these wires in the center here and we're going to fold the wires. And make sure you keep this down here flat. I'm going to fold it in a nice fold so that you get a nice U shape right there. And then when you get to this point, one of these wires groups are going to go over the other one and you're going to pull it. Make sure you keep these flat. It does take a little bit of time and it takes a strong hand to do this. But you're going to pull it as tightly as you can to create a nice loop right there. And you can see how nice that looks there. So once you get this part done, then this piece here, keep this down and bring this other side, your left side, over. Make sure they're flat. You don't want it to get too bent. Sometimes it helps just to straighten it a little. And you're going to bring this back over again. Make sure you keep them flat. You can see how you're getting a nice crisscross sort of weave. This cre creates a nice decorative pattern with the wire. And later you'll see why we came up with this idea to use the wire in this manner. But you're going to continue on with the same procedure, the same technique for the length of the wire. This is the result of folding your wire in half and braiding. It will be somewhat shorter than the four and a half yards, but you'll need at least this much to complete the diameter of the wreath. Once you reach the end, you can take one wire and go around the other wires to, to make sure it doesn't come apart and your braid will be secured. We're going to attach this braid to the outer edge of the wreath form. We're going to take a two and a half yards of wire attached to the wreath form at the spine. I'm going to go through the eye of the braid right there. And then you're going to come up, go through, and over where there's a crossover. And this is a lengthy process, so we're going to come back up through again. And you get the idea where you keep going over until you attach the full length around the perimeter of the, the wreath form. Once you've attached the outer weave onto the ring, jump to the inside of the ring and attach another length. This was originally four 
lengths of wire at 54 inches. Once it was braided, it became 47 inches. And don't worry about that. We've allowed for enough to compensate for the shrinkage. So let, with that said, let's start attaching it to your inner ring. And on your inner ring, we're just gonna go back again and attach right on the spine our wire. And this one is 60 inches, also over measured to allow for shrinkage. So you're gonna lay it back in here, go through the eye of the braid, pull it through and just sew it back on. Sew it onto the inner ring. And just continue on until you finish this step as well. Always going over the crossover of your zigzag in your wire. Creates another decorative element. The main reason for this is to cover the edge of the ring and also to create some camouflage for electrical. So we're just gonna continue on around until it's completely attached and secured safely. We've reached the end of our, our length there and we're just gonna cover it with a wire here, finishing it off with a little to cover that raw edge and we're finished with this part of your chandelier ring. Cut it off right here, right inside, and push it down into the inner part of the ring. Now that you know the technique of how to weave or braid your wire, you're going to make three support arms for the top of your chandelier. Each one of these crossovers is about an inch long, and this is a 27 from the, from the loop to the end is 27 inches. Make sure you leave enough on the bottom to attach to your chandelier ring. Now we're ready to attach our supports. If you'll notice on the ring, there are nine spines or, or braces. Allow two between each arm. So our first one will go right here and attach it to the center. There, there are three rings. So you're gonna go into the center ring here with your arm. Take one of the wires and go through that center ring and secure it nicely from one side of your weave and then go to the other side and do the same thing. And again, this is something that you will just have to figure out yourself what feels best for you. I'm gonna cut that little piece off and cut this little piece off here. And bring the remaining wires through to the upper side and twist them off. All right, so one arm or one support is attached. You're gonna move over two, attach a support here, move over two and attach a support here. Now we have all of our support arms on there and you notice we have the little eye hook at the top. That's gonna serve as your um, hanger. And you can bend them slightly so that you get them to all line up. And for safety reasons or for working with it later, just secure it so you have it right here um, and it'll keep it upright. We are now ready to start attaching our lights, our electricity. The rice lights come with a plug, they're LED, it has a transformer here. You attach this area, you could take the paper off and you'll notice that there's this black transformer. We're going to lay the transformer onto the inner ring here with the wire for the plug coming around the front side. 
some of your scraps that you have left over when you cut them, just go through your middle ring. There is a little hole in the end here. What we're gonna do is take the wire, go through the hole in around the center rings and just pull it tightly. I'm gonna make sure this wire is over on the front side. And just come down through again and back up. All right, now here's the tricky part. You have a weave, so what you wanna do is just take your wire Make sure that you are over the end here. I found that it's easier to go through the bottom here. Pull this out a little bit so that you can get that cap through. And then come back through the center here. So you are going to start and just wrap the wire in the same direction as the braid and it will camouflage all the way up your braid to the top of your chandelier. So the whole key is you want to get all your electrical plugs to come out at the same place at the top of the chandelier. So you have one plugging location. And when you get to the top, what I found is you wanna secure it underneath the, the ring. Just put a wire there to hold it temporarily till we finish with our other arms. Once you get to the top, you wanna just bind it off with a little bit of wire to make a nice clean um, collar at the top. You can either put your wires in a sleeve, like a ribbon sleeve, or tape them off so that they're all together, but you want them all to come out at the one section. So there's three strands. That'll give you 30 lights, 30 strands of rice lights on your chandelier. So you are ready to now open your light bundles up and you'll want to separate them. And like I said, you will see that you have 10 individual strands of lights. So, okay, what we are going to do is separate them in groups of five. Each, each light strand has 10 strands. So it's gonna give you 30 strands total across your chandelier. And now we just want to weave them through. Some can come to the front of your chandelier, just go around once. Let it come down on the front. The next one will go to the inner ring. And go around, give it a little bit of length here and go around to one of the spines and bring it down. So you can see what you're doing is just weaving it around the ring and we're gonna continue this around so we have multiple areas where it's coming through your wreath form and down and dangling and then we'll finish from there. What we're doing is just putting the lights through your framework and once you get the all the lights onto and woven through your framework, We can take and curl each strand and they'll come out at different lengths different because of how tightly you curl them and some you'll not want to unfurl as much as others so that'll give you shorter lengths Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please 
For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at BurtonandBurton.com.